So I'm, I'm scouring the internet and I saw this video by this group called Seeker. And it was completely debunking the blood type diet. Let's talk about it. Okay, Seeker. Now, they did a little research and they looked at the blood type diet and they said it was not, big capital N-O-T, not backed by science. So we were talking in this morning's news meeting and we all got hooked on this blood type diet thing. Have you heard of this? Back in 1997, Peter J. D'Adamo published a book called Eat Right, for your type. In the book, he outlines his belief that the genetic variations in people's blood is like an astrological design, indicating certain blood types have predispositions for certain foods and lifestyles. People with blood type A, like me, should be a vegetarian. I'm not. And people with blood type B should drink lots of milk. The book has been criticized by a number of accredited doctors and scientists because DeAdmo doesn't back up his assertions with, well, anything, really. I think we're gonna side with the doctors and scientists on this one. And to me, that's like uh, going skeet shooting. And somebody said, pull, and just blew my skeet ball out, all out the sky. But the guy went on to say some things. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, no, wait. And, and maybe I did say it in that voice. I might have. <laughs> but, but he said things like the original blood type was A. And that's almost OK. but. No, the original blood type is O, and then you get derivations of that because it's based on antigens, A, B, or the lack of A or B, or both. But it, it came from an O blood type. That, that is the hunter-gatherer. Oh, uh, that's me. All right, so let's talk about just anecdotal things, antidotal things about blood types. And let's talk about the one that I'm in, O. All right, so. Hunter-gatherer, that means that sometimes I fast because I'm getting ready for the hunt because we ate up all the meat because I fed the village because I was a great hunter on the last hunt, but now it's time for the hunt again. The caribou coming through and I have got to get the caribou, all right? So my, uh, my people are feeding me very well, but it's just fruits and vegetables and, and lots of grains and, and that's how I'm getting prepared. I'm fasting. I'm getting my mind and my body right for the hunt because I don't want to breathe too hard. I don't want the caribou to hear me coming. I don't want them to feel my bow going back because it's going to already be back when they're there. When, when I'm ready for them, they're not going to be ready for me. I'm going to aim, shoot, and I will be able to bring the food home. That's the plan. That's the plan. So now you go out into the woods. You, you see some berries, you know those berries are good. Eat some blueberries. Oh, it's delicious. I can keep going. I find the caribou. I did exactly what I said. I got it. I got it. I wrap it up. I drag it back to the village. Once again, I'm a hero. Once again. I love that story for me because it's not true at all. But that is what the hunter-gatherers had to do. I am of the hunter-gatherer lineage, which means that I could feel that story all through and through my veins. I'm an O blood type. I, it's been tested. I tested myself twice. And then the doctor said I'm, a, I'm an O blood type also. And it seems like, it seems like, yeah. When I, uh, I, I've been told that my blood type is the worst vegetarian, the worst because you might have seen something like Forks Over Knives show, or you might have heard of Dr. Gundry, who was like an anti-meat person. These are my questions for Dr. Gundry, if he ever gets to see this. Dr. Gundry, what is your blood type, sir, doctor? What is your blood type? And um, there's another person on the internet that I've seen. He's a brother. Uh, he looks very fit, and he is also a no-meat person. I think he's a no-meat person, and I really would love to ask him. Uh, oh, Dr. Holistic, I think he calls himself. Yes, I want to know what his blood type is, just so I can know, because I have a theory based on my blood type and something that I've gone through. I used to play in a rock band. 
long time ago. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change, dude. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna be a vegetarian. So I'm playing this show at the Coca-Cola Roxy and um, I hadn't eaten any meat all day. Chicken, nothing, I hadn't eaten anything. And I was like, let me get a salad. Well, that salad did not satisfy me. I think it was a Wendy's salad or something like that. And I had to eat a bite of chicken before I got on stage because I was low, low, low on energy. I was just like, maybe I shouldn't start this now. But I, I went vegetarian for like a day and a half there. Okay, pause, that's over, right? Then I'm working in my office. I'm, I'm a doctor of dental surgery. And um, I was like, you know what? I got more time than when I was a rock star. I'm not going to eat meat. Meat is murder. It's so bad for you, okay? All right. 11 days I went without meat. I was miserable. And my body was showing signs of, man, you might not be that well. I, I think you might be sick is what my body said to me. And, and, and my staff was like, Doc, you okay? You okay, Doc? I wasn't. I wasn't okay. I was far from okay. I was malnourished. All right. I started eating meat again. I gained my weight, my regular weight back, and I felt great because the weight loss that I got in that 11 days, it was not pretty. And it probably was in my reaction to watching Forks Over Knives. I got sucked into the thing. I was like, that makes sense. And what they do to the meat is so inhumane and it's a soul, it's a spirit and I'm, I'm killing the spirit, I'm eating the pain. I'm, I was like, I can't do it. But, but then I was like, I, I think I need to do that because uh, I'm not doing or faring very well without that. That's what I got. All right, so that's, oh, all right. Let's talk about A's. Now, here's the thing. My dad is an O, my mom is an A. I have found this little thing. It's just a little thing that's just weird to me, okay? But in terms of attraction, physical attraction, one human to another human, however they interact, whether it's in uh, a romantic situation or just a, a good working relationship situation, it seems like this is what I found. This is what I found. That O's get with A's all the time. They do. That's what it seems like. My mom's an O. No, my mom's, my mom's an A. My dad's an O. They're together. Um, some of the ladies that I've dated in the past, they are A's. They are A's. So is that the thing like you go try to find your mom because you could smell their blood type on them? Is it instinctual like that? I'm not sure, but I know that um, I'm very attracted to A's. It, it seems that way. It seems that way. All right. The, the author of the book, Eat for Your Type, Eat Right for Your Type, that's Dr. Peter Diadamo. He was continuing the work of his father, James Diadamo. I saw him on a show. He's talking about his book. He says, I'm an A blood type. I was like, okay. I was like, I wonder if his wife is an O. And his wife was an O. I was like, what? I just, you know, it's nice when you're right. Or it's nice to feel right even if you're wrong. And let me tell you how I am, just so you know. I don't have to come up with the right answers. I, I, don't, I don't have to do it, but I do want to hang out with the right answers. Even if the right answers are just for me or for me and the community in which I serve and I hang out with and I live in, that I want the right answers to be all around us. That's, that's what I want. So, all right, so let's talk about A's. A's. A's shouldn't eat shrimp. They shouldn't eat lobster. They shouldn't eat shellfish at all. Why? Because it bloats them, it, it gives them a lot of gas, it causes inflammation. That's just, that's just a thing that I've seen about A's. And let's, let's keep this 100, guys. Anyone can eat anything. Everyone can eat everything. You can eat pork. You can eat fish with the head on or the head off. <laughs> you can eat anything, but is it good for you? And this channel is about optimizing yourself for you to be healthy and wealthy because your health is your wealth.
That's what I say. That's what I believe. So food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior are just things that we get to do, and I do mean get to do, on a daily basis so that we're living our best life, so that we're doing the things that we should be able to do and go beyond the things that we think that we might be able to do and just do some great stuff, right? So that was A's, right? B blood type people, and I've seen this in my office. B blood type people shouldn't eat chicken. What? No chicken, but here's the weird thing. They can eat turkey, but no chicken. They can eat eggs, but no chicken. It's like, what? It, it makes sense? Not at all. It does not make sense. But apparently, that's how it goes. And if that's how it goes, I would say test it, try it, see it, do it. Because how would you know? How would they know if they don't try it? And at this time, there's really no mass wide clinical data to support the blood type diet. But to me, there is data. The data is what we've been told doesn't seem to be working. We've been told to eat three square meals a day. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't be doing that. We've been told that uh, we need to eat more bread. Well, maybe some people should do that, but should everybody do that? Huh. For years, we were told that we need to drink our milk because it makes our bones healthy. That's, that's not true either. So what I'm saying is, you know, you guys have said a lot of stuff that was wrong. And the results of the stuff that's been said has been proven to be wrong in evidence, evidence-wise, right? So I'm saying, okay, here's an alternative. Here's, let me go this way, okay? So no, I heard that, no, and another no. And then let's, let's, let's try this right here. Let, let, let's see what this, this kind of optimization for health is. Find out what your blood type is. Do that for 30 days. <laughs> Go see my friend who owns the vitamin shop on uh, Auburn Avenue, Shauna, the vitamin lady, your vitamin lady herb shop. She's there. Let her talk to you. Get, get another opinion because I have found that I, I talk myself to I'm bluer in the face to people and sometimes they they listen, they're like, you know, I'll try it. Or sometimes they're like, mm, I don't know. But it seems like when my friend Shauna says it, maybe because she's pretty, I don't know. But when my friend Shauna says it, they all do it. So see Shauna, go see Shauna, okay? And she will tell you what the little idiosyncrasies are of your body chemistry. And then you could then see if it resonates with you and you could try it. Do 30 days, 30 days. It's, it's the new year now, right? So in the new year, you've got the first month of the new year. You could take one month out of the new year and check on how you're feeling about what you're doing. And at the end of that month, if you've eaten for your blood type, see how you feel. Have you lost weight? Have you gained weight? Do you have more energy? Are you more alert? Do you feel less sluggish? I mean, these are the things that I want for you. These are certainly things that I want for me, but they go with other things. I mean, I think that food sets us up for success and that success is going to be a healthy life where we are great parents, we're great friends, we're great lovers, we're great contributors to society for things that society could use and society needs. So, please try it. And if anyone can help me come up with an idea how to make a true large scale clinical trial, let's say, let's say we do a thousand people. Now, could a thousand people doing food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior for, say, a year, could that show? true results, I mean, they'd have to go longer than that, but at least we could at least start with a year, see what's going on in two years, 
and just follow a thousand people for the rest of their lives to see what happens or what happened when they, if they, suck to their diet. I mean, I want to (laughs) know. I want you to know. And if we know, then we could actually say, that thing works, and I feel great, and I could do whatever, and I made this. I made this. And it's something that's helpful because you had energy to do it. Oh, man. Guys, I mean, really, you can do it. Let's try it. And how would you know if you don't know? How would you know if you don't try? Yes. Yes, that's all I wanted to say about that. Yes. Okay. If you agree with one or some of the things that I've said in this video here today, please, please, please share with a friend or a loved one. Please hit the thumbs up button because it really helps with the algorithm. Uh, Please leave a comment in the comment sections below about how you eat, how you feel when you eat, when you eat, like what times of the day do you eat? Do you eat three square meals? Do you fast? Do you do the keto diet? I mean, I really want to start a discussion on this because I am looking for the answers. I hope, I hope to be within the truth, within the answers. And and if you could help me do that, that would be absolutely amazing. So, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned and we'll talk about it later.